The co-op arena is a stunner. It's going to be a massive card August 24th, and I think it's the, one of the best fights in the division outside of the championship fight. So fair play to both. Another big card in the UK. Tough fight for Jack Cattrall, obviously um, a good, good fight. But Cattrall is in the form of his life. No reason why he can't win the contest. Uh, Jack, I, what I like about Jack is he can box at range, but he can also box on the inside and mix it with the very best. So for me, Jack Cattrall, yeah, I think it's, it's a fight that he can win. Good luck to him. Yeah, I think he's a very experienced opponent against him, you know what I mean? But um, Jack's on the crest of a wave. He's really uh, performing well. I think we all should have said when he didn't get that decision for, for all the belts, uh, you know, not so long ago now, but he's he got his just rewards, you know what I mean? He's... Uh, uh, now he's topping the bill at the first time at the co-op arena. I mean, I remember when I first topped the bill in there, you know, when the, the Manchester arena first opened and it ended up one of the mecca of British boxing. And I think the co-op will do the same and he'll go down in history. That Jack Catchell was the first one to top the bill there. But um, no, he's, uh, he's worked hard. He's, you know, perfect, prime example, perfect example um, to Campbell. You know what I mean? Scrubbed himself down, didn't you know? Didn't soak, got back in it, and look where he is now. That's what Campbell's got to show week on Saturday. What Jack has? I've got Catchell beating uh, Regis Progre. I think he's been at that level, and then I think he's doing quite well. So he's beating Josh Taylor. So I think I've got Catchell winning by points. I think Catchell on a wide points decision. Do you think Regis Progre has much left? Um, from his performances, you can look and say he's maybe sliding a little bit but he's still a dangerous fighter he's been one of the best in the world so you know maybe he could turn up and show something he's, he's not in his last few performances that's a good fight that's a really good fight um i'm a big fan of progre um i thought obviously he was completely outclassed against mm -hmm. everything i think styles wise it was just too flat footed too slow for for him and, um and and it couldn't have gone much worse for him that fight. So he'll be coming over with a, a huge point to prove. He's a very, very proud man. Good fighter. But in Carroll, I think um Carroll's one of these fighters. He's he's his brain and his IQ is so underrated. He's very, very clever in there. Really his his judgment of his distance is fantastic. Um he's got good feet. He he reads the fight really, really well. Um, I would I would actually say that um, that that at this stage in the career, I think I think Carroll's a, a slight favourite. Um, but it's a very very good fight, very very good fight, and Carroll can't afford to switch off with with program. Uh, I just think that I think it'll be one of those where he's just just one step in front, just one step in front. Program just falling short, falling short, falling short, and getting peppered, getting pinged. The only thing is that Jack likes to work at his own pace. Uh, yeah, Jack tries tries uh, likes to work at his own pace, um, and uh, I think Progre needs to set a tempo that, that Jack doesn't want to work at early doors. Can't can't wait four or five rounds to pass first. He needs to set off a, a pace right from the start and and maintain it really. Yeah, listen, Re Regis is still it's still a dangerous proposition for any fighter at one forty, and um, and yeah, it, you know. As he as he probably seen better days probably because of his age, but he's still a, he's still a dangerous opponent, and um, we needed to make sure that for Jack to be able to perform at his best, he needed to make sure that he was going in there with that fear, knowing that he could be he could be pushed and potentially beat. So um, so it, it wasn't by accident that we picked someone um, like Regis who, who, who we respect, who's dangerous. Um, we needed that to make sure that at this stage of his career, these type of opponents are bringing out the best in Jack. Listen, my main concern is Jack winning. That's the, that's the only thing he needs to do. Also, we, we have spoken about in the past about making sure the match with the right type of fighters. Hence, the reason why he's in with such a dangerous opponent as Regis, because Regis is going to come and try and take Jack's head off. And um, and that that they're the type of fighters who I believe will, will bring out the best in Jack. You know, you seen last time, Josh Taylor was a much better version last time than, than in the first fight with Jack. Um, and he brought the best out in Jack. He, he was made to work hard, but he brought, brought the best out in him because that type of style is always more suited for Jack. I think Cattle wins. Yeah, at the minute, he's just doing, he just does everything he needs to do, doesn't he? Like he's, he's, um, a lot of people complain about he's not exciting, he's this, he's that, but he's doing everything he needs to do to win. And that's all you can ask for from a fighter. And, um, 
he's not taking punishment on, uh, along the way. So, yeah, at the end of the day, he's, he's winning fights, he's getting paid, and he's he's winning titles. So, yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's, uh, I think he um he beats he beats uh pro grade quite comfortably. Like pro grade when he when he actually when he fought Josh Taylor. You would have to lean towards Progray, but I've seen a decline up with Progray over the years and um for the last couple of years. So yeah, I think um uh catch all wins. I think it's a very good fight. Um yeah, I think it's a very tough fight for Jack. It's one that I fancy just nicking on points. Um but it's a it's a it's a tough fight for Jack and it's literally is one you know, one step before your world title. Should, could, be, could easily be a world title on the line. It's good enough for a world title on the line. I think, I think it's a very good fight, and the progress that we that we've seen against against Josh Taylor, and that, that was that was some fight. I was sitting in the front row, luckily enough for that one, and I'm a big fan of his. I think he's good, but I'm also a massive fan of Jack Cattle, and, and I hope Jack does the business. I think um, you know he'll have a good little following behind him uh, next Saturday night. I keep meaning to say this Saturday because of this workout now, but. I fancy Cattle, and I think should Evan go to plan, I think he should win. Probably get a points points victory, um, and onward to, to bigger things. But this is a, this is a tough test for him. It's pro grade, that's it. It's nothing else. Be reads pro grade. If I'm me, I should have no trouble. I mean, I've been sparring. I mean, I don't even want to tell you what I've been doing sparring. I mean, I've been just like for me, the, the main thing is being present, being in the moment, and being happy about it. And I'm happy right now. I'm super happy. I can't even stop smiling at everybody. I'm smiling at the cameras. I'm smiling all around. So, um, it's not. It's definitely not like last fight where I wanted to kill everybody. I'm happy right now, and it's cool. So, um, yeah, I'm good. Watch the fight. Watch the fight. That's if you doubt me, just watch the fight. That's all. You know, I know um, what I can do when I'm when when I'm mentally there. Listen, I feel like nobody can stop me at 140, period, no matter what, you know. So I just got to be mentally there, and I'm good. And right now, I'm feeling happy. Um, this is something, I, for me, this is something I love to do, you know. So it's like, why I take the, why I put pressure on something that you love to do? I love to do this, you know. Like, when we are kids, um, I started a little late. I started when I was 16, 17 years old. But, you know, most people, they start as kids, and they do this for fun. And so when you get older, and you start being professional, you start fighting for belts, you, you start um, having pressure on you, you know? But it's like, what's the point of pressure? This is something that you would do for free. This is something I, I would do for free. This is something I do for fun. So, I, I mean, for me, look, it's no pressure. You know, go out there, have fun, enjoy myself, I'm good. Yeah, he's dangerous. Uh, he's a former two-time world champion with a lot of knockouts. So, uh, again, he's a phenomenal fighter, but I think he'll, he'll, by his own admission, the last two performances probably haven't been his best. Uh, so his back's against the wall. So. I'm expect, expecting him to come and want to put on a performance. Uh, if he's got that motivation about becoming a three-time champion, uh, the pressure's really on for him to perform. Likewise, I put that pressure on myself. Uh, I've looked at his last two fights, didn't think he looked the best, but I want to perform and I want to be dominant and I want to beat him to, to put myself in a better position. Yeah, 100%, I think I hit hard enough to hurt my opponents. Uh, Josh hurt uh, a few times in the last fight. Didn't manage to get the stoppage, but nonetheless, I beat him up, so... Uh, I know Regis' uh, coach was speaking at the press conference about uh, Regis being a super knockout artist and that's all well and good, we can see it on Boxwork, we've watched him fights, it can punch, uh, we know he poses that threat, I think he'll be surprised when he gets in the ring with me next Saturday.